we are going but let's take it off i don't know the other thing that has been really like on my mind and disturbing me lately is why does the government wait for people like to be able to do like heavy investment in terms of developing their you know yeah, their homes then they go and knock it off and then they demolish it i'm like why is no one accountable again sakaja just kidding <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding on that point i don't know maybe maria i am a victim yo yeah i am a victim of the mavoko demolition oh no yeah i am actually it was you see those lands that you meet your boyfriend and then you decide oh we want to invest uh, God, don't invest in a boyfriend. Uh, I invested in one. He married me. So anyway, we 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 had land there, and then yeah. okay, we had not. Okay, there are people who are developed. Yeah, there are people who are developed. There are others who had families living in there. Mm. Actually, have okay. Our, some of our friends were there, and uh, you one of morning. Ac according to the story that I had, yeah. the person, the one of the victim, told me, like they were just. It was just like it was intentional kind of like what do you mean we are intentionally destroying like they came we are not touching your place you just relax you just want this lane down the next day ah, relax down the third time now you're told get out then i'm like why didn't you tell me you will get here so that i can yeah. relocate my children so that yeah. i can make sure that my property is okay so it was like an intentional destruction money. like we money just have to destroy and make sure that it's not there at all it was very so, evil and very so awful and then you know the um, problem was they okay someone like me would wish portland would call a press conference and mm, speak mm. for these people to have that like you know like portland just call a press conference and talk because so far we've had every story there could be We've had except all of Portland them side. except portland side and they're still quiet and they're still quiet but if you go to every headline portland's land portland's land and then we're like this is a huge company or whatever so it they must they have a boat yeah who collected the money yeah. portland portland sold this to a certain it's more like the way you sell to Chama, or, no okay oh like the way you, say, you sell to circles okay yeah so circles come and then they decide now yeah selling mm. there you see like for example a teacher circle they have their place no, yes, this yes, people, yes they have their land so i'm selling we are selling the land so that's what happened i don't have an issue like uh, personally i would say i don't have an issue if portland would come and, and reclaim their land and say that okay the circle stole from us but they knew people are building from the get-go the problem is it's not like they were building temporary homes like someone took all his retirement money all your retirement money like now you're not going to work anymore yeah put a structure down and the problem okay for me okay I'm, i know i look hungry but i am how do I'm you wait for me to do a housewarming for you to come and destroy <laughs> two days later how dare you like it's not right there okay, was a post so... <laughs> sorry Mary. then you come me down come, yeah come come down girl yeah. come down they did something very wrong it was very wrong by the way uh, but i would hope portland would speak um i don't know uh, uh for me it's more of like is there any like urban planning in terms of you know like urban planning how this is support this is the, it's not to be built here you cannot be able to sell this and then they may like public knowledge just even if you go and look for this title deeds you know because how many I'm sure people they have are, buy, are buying lands do you know many people like you now they, they come to you and tell you now rebuy again kayole masimba area rebuy again like we, we keep wondering okay someone like me is so reluctant about investing in the city and you know they offer to buy again. Why why are we why, why, why are we buy, what is that? What is this what thing happened to the money? buying again? What the, happened to the money? You see the land issue is, is is very complex. It's very complex because if you follow if you follow this country for some time in the 1970s the first invasion of land started by a guy in Dandora who invaded Gitare Marigo. It was a little guy known as Nyam Nyam. So Nyam Nyam looked at the open sp space there and realized, because you remember, initially the way this city uh, was constructed, you could see that the estates, apart from Umo, uh, after before Umoja, Umoja 1 only actually, and 2, yeah. the rest of that was done homeland. Mm -hmm. And quickly, yes. you know, we're just talking here, do Kenyans know who is done home, what is Dandora? So Dan and Dora was a couple. Yes. Like a couple. Yes. Uh -huh. Dan and Dora. Yes.
Ah, so Dandara. Wow. That's important. Alas, yeah. they were good people. people. Yeah, people yeah, just Yeah, we don't know these things. I was today yeah, years old when I discovered Dandara. Dan 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 okay. <laughs> Watch out for my status, farm. guys. That's the caption on Instagram. Next to Dandara. It was the biggest thing. I know a lot of it, especially young people, they don't know this. Okay, first of all, thank you for calling us. These were farms which were owned by individuals. Correct. Yeah. So what happened is that... Daily farm. It's a daily farm. The city actually reached here, Jerusalem, Jericho. Correct. Then Burburu was a World Bank project. Correct. 5,000 units. 5,000 units constructed in the 80s towards until 90s and then it moved out. So Komarok came in later. Okay, who's Komarok now? <laughs> so, no, good question, good question. You know, I was very surprised to find uh -huh. So, my shag is Kangundo. Yes. Mm -hmm. On your way to Kangundo is Koma Rock, the rock. Yes. yes. So, they took the name from Koma Rock, which now they've put a shrine. Yeah. And yes, go, I see the so shrine. Yeah. It is the rock. So, I used where, to where, say, where is the shrine? So, people used to say it's, it's, it's just before Nguluni on Kangundo. Yeah. Yes. After Nguluni is Tala. So, okay. when I was a very young boy, like our dad used to that is Koma Rock. So many years later, I went abroad, came back. How do you people saying Komarok is near Mama Lucy? So I wonder what are they talking about? <laughs> yes. It's Komarok Estate, yes. which are these two small estates ah. that came after Umoja, etc., yes. named after somebody and after somewhere. So oh. the actual rock is before. It's just it's after V. Okay. It's yes, it's, I know that place. Now Barilla. people do a lot of excursions there. It was just a rock. Then I guess the church built a shrine. Ah. And then people, people came yeah. go there and. Benji, you said that coma is come back, but I wanted to say that. Which means sleep, so yes. the sleeping rock. The sleeping <laughs> rock. So now, the problem of Nairobi land is because of the colonization. This land, apart from the CBD, remember where Mlango Kubwa? Yes. You know where Mlango Kubwa is? Yes, near St. Teresa School. Yes. yes. Mlango Kubwa was actually a gate. Correct. It was a gate for K Africans who are not allowed to go beyond that point Correct. without identification. Which is yes. which is why shags were called reserves. Reserve. Not to reserve you yeah. there. So now the problem we have with the Nairobi land is that the city was clearly demarcated. And then these homes Dan Dan, Dan and Dora had their place. Uh, city uh, Nyayo Stadium was the owner, that Mzungu who gave it for the building of the stadium was also owned by an, a different person. Mm -hmm. Now, Africans, when they came, this land had already titles. From Umoja was owned by Kiambu Farmers, mm -hmm. an association. Then, Kirima Garrison, who rose to fame from selling the Yomo Kenyatta soup, Bonmaru soup, mm -hmm. and uh, establishing butcheries bought a lot of acres in Jiru. Uh -huh. Now, what happens? In Jiru area, Mihango, yeah. Choka, Choka. Mm -hmm. Joska. Joska, all that area yeah. Yeah. was owned by Why him, even? by this, this gentleman. He had a thousand acres. Mm -hmm. His personal land. So there's a gentleman known as Ochok who was a legend of Maria Athena. Looks and says, this land is some, this land we can invade it. And brings guys and they invade and establishes those estates there. And suspecting guys, there are two types of people who buy land. One, there are people who are told if you build the house, this adverse possession, you will take over this land. Yeah. So you take your 50 and 100,000, you, you, yeah, yeah, you buy yeah. it very yeah. quickly and you build and you stay. Yeah. After 10 years, it's actually you, eight. It is, it's actually yours. You become yours. Now, the many people buy land that way. Yeah. Now, they're unsuspecting because people like maybe Maria who are told mm -hmm. there's an investment opportunity. The sharks now come mm -hmm. and tell you people have built. From a plot here, but now they're from 100,000, now they're 5 million or 500,000. Then unsuspecting, you come and buy. The EAPC land in Mavoko was EAPC land. Everyone knew. That's what I'm hearing people saying. Everyone knew, even in 2013, it was in the media. People knew mm -hmm. he is Shamba near East African Portland okay. cement. So who saw that? Who, so the sharks, the way I'm saying these sharks, say, uh -huh. they came and sold, made their money, and they hoped this thing will change. And after people will years. get, after 10 years, 
And you see, me, my problem is not the people who buy. My problem is the premise President William Ruto campaigned yeah. on. He yeah. said that even if you've built somewhere mm. and you've spent your money, mm. we will have a sit down with the owners of the land mm -hmm. so that you pay, then your, so that your property, no property will be destroyed. Then the properties are... Are we, are we supposed to forget that he, they were destroyed immediately he left there to China? Yes, now, because someone has sold that to someone. Yeah, he left. On the same day he left, the, the caterpillars were there to do the so job. Now, he After telling it, he said, I will, 